Hi guys and welcome to another video. Today I'm very excited to discuss Charlotte Tilbury's new launch Tinted Love. So there are five in total and I got all five because I just thought why not and you know we can try on the full collection see what the colours are like. Sometimes I don't know if you're the same but when you see the swatches online it's not the same as trying it on for yourself and seeing more in-depth reviews like this will hopefully be. So the Tinted Love collection is for the lips and cheeks and they are exclusively on the Charlotte Tilbury website for one week until I believe it's the 22nd of November. After that I believe you won't be able to get your hands on them until officially next year. Let's get stuck in, I'm going to do swatches, try-ons. What I will say is because it's obviously a tint, I'm very mindful of my lips staining. So I will go from lightest to darkest and Hopefully you'll be able to see a true reflection of the shades. This is what the inner packaging looks like. So it's got the typical Charlotte Tilbury logo on one end. Tinted love on this end. Packaging looks okay. I would say it's not as expensive looking as Charlotte Tilbury's normal collection. But it's playful, I guess. It's cute, it's very girly. Also, just wanted to quickly show you the actual outer packaging as well. That's what it looks like. I think the outer packaging is really nice. It's quite different. So starting with Santa Euphoria, this is what the wand looks like. And I know the colour looks quite dark, but it's supposed to be a nude colour. So that's what Santa Euphoria looks like. I believe on the lips it will be more pigmented, so let's try it. I haven't got anything on my lips right now. So is that Santa Euphoria. So the colour is quite subtle but I actually quite like colours like this especially to wear on a day-to-day -day basis when I'm popping to the shops, the post office, the GP surgery I really like these sort of colours where it's not so colourful that it looks like you've made a huge effort but it's just enough colour on the lips this is Santa Euphoria what I'll do is leave the swatches on my hand so we can compare as we go along next up is Bohemian Rose so it's almost like an orangey, bricky orangey colour let's see how it translates on the lips so this is Bohemian Kiss and it's such a pretty colour. It just gives lift to your complexion immediately and it's just enough colour without being too much of a statement lip. Also, I just wanted to say it feels super, super comfortable and lightweight on to the point where you almost can't feel anything. It doesn't feel drying, it feels really lightweight. It does dry quite quickly. It doesn't stay wet, if that makes sense, but it's super comfortable. I will get into my final thoughts later on and I will give you some facts as well, but let's just quickly try them on first. I've just removed the Bohemian Kiss and as you can see it's slightly starting to stain, but it's fine. Uh, we'll continue and see how we get on. Next up is Love Chain. So this is more of a, a red, a bluey red. It's definitely more of a statement lip, but again, super easy to wear. In fact, if you're going out for a meal and you want to wear a red lip and perhaps you're going to a fancy restaurant, you don't want to ruin your red lipstick or you don't want to have to open your mouth wide like a hippo, then this would be a good alternative because even if you are eating, you won't worry about it staining your teeth because it is a, a lip tint. So this is a really comfortable red to wear. And that's Love Chain. So I've removed Love Chain and my lips have definitely stained, so it is a stain for sure. Um, I'm just going to quickly apply a tad bit of concealer, just because I don't want to get the colours all mixed up, so just bear with me. Next, moving on, this is what Petal Pink looks like. And that's Petal Pink on my hand. So this is Petal Pink. And last but not least is Tripping on Love. This seems to be the darkest shade. It's, it seems like it's going to be a really nice colour. And this is Tripping on Love. So it's a much deeper red and very, very autumn winter appropriate. I love this sort of colour. I think it goes really well with my complexion, etc. So let's read a little bit more about it. So there are obviously five shades like I've said already and that's a full collection. It's blendable, buildable, and it's a no makeup makeup look. It's supposed to give instant hydration to the lips. It's enriched with hyaluronic acid, vitamin E, obviously, which is supposed to boost hydration, 
And they claim that it boosts hydration by 180% after 4 hours and 118% after 12 hours. Now that's a really big claim. Let's see, like I said, it's supposed to last up to 12 hours of wear. It's transfer, transfer proof, lightweight and buildable. And 92% of the people that they tested agreed that their lips felt soft and smooth. So what do I think about the collection? I really love the colours that they have chosen. Sometimes I think you have to be careful with tinted lip colours because sometimes there's something about the colour that's not quite right and then obviously it's a stain so if you don't like it that that's that colour stains on your lips for hours on end and you can't get rid of it. Um, I personally think all five colours are nice. Probably my least favourite was the one in the middle love chain as it's that sort of bluey red and I'm not really a fan of bluey reds but the rest I absolutely loved and I think there's a good range of pinks kind of peachy tones orange nudes dark colors etc so I do really like the color choices and more importantly I think the color choices would complement number of women in terms of skin tones etc also, their claim about being buildable, I would 100% agree with that. So what I found was when I was applying it, the doe foot applicator was easy to apply with. It's got like a flat side, which you can apply on the thickest part of your lips. And then the pointy edge, the pointy edge enables you to almost use it's like a lip liner. So it does make it easy to apply with. However, more often than not, I found the first application to be a little bit patchy. So where I applied a second layer it did go on better and it was buildable the color became more intense and it made everything a lot more even so that I would definitely agree with 100% it's lightweight if it's a stain and dries down which it dries down quite quickly then it is going to be transfer proof not completely but what I love about tints is that even hours after eating talking drinking it still leaves somewhat of a colour on your lips so you get this pretty stain. In terms of the hydration element, it does feel more moisturising and hydrating than a normal lip tint which can feel super drying on the lips. It's, it has a little bit of a cushiony feeling to it rather than a completely dry matte feeling. I would obviously have to wear it for a much longer period in order to be able to tell you whether my lips still feel hydrated 4 hours, 8 hours, 12 hours down the line like they claim. One thing I would say is though with any lip stain is to ensure you exfoliate your lips and moisturise them because any dry skin on your lip, this is going to cling to, I can assure you of that. So any uneven texture is going to cling to. So I would still recommend you exfoliate properly and moisturise properly before applying this lip tint. Normally I love Charlotte Tilbury lip products, I just don't like the scent as it smells of vanilla. This has a slight scent to it but it's bearable. I don't like it but I don't dislike it if that makes sense. You can only really keep it on your lips and try it over the course of a day, a week, several times to really truly know if it hydrates the lips. Hydration is important but it's not the key thing. The key thing for me is shades how it applies and how long it lasts. I have a little bit of a love and hate relationship with Charlotte Tilbury because there are so many products in her line that I absolutely adore, like her lipsticks, her powders, her contour ones, eyeshadow palettes I'm not really keen on. I like the quads but normally I'm not a fan of her long palettes. I just find a lot of her stuff to be either like foolproof or a little bit gimmicky. Um, in this case, I absolutely love them and endorse the tints. So they're only on the website, like I said, until the 22nd of November. So if you are interested, grab a couple. I really, really, really wanted to film in natural light. However, with the UK weather, we barely get any sunlight, natural sunlight these days. So I've had to use artificial lighting. However, over the course of the next few days, I will be on my Instagram channel doing swatches in the natural light so you guys can see everything as is but I can tell you that every swatch I've done on my hand and how it looks on camera is a true reflection of the colour. So starting from the nude all the way to the darkest. More importantly I just wanted to get this video out there so you guys had an opportunity to do the shop after seeing live swatches and it's £25 for 10ml of product. So it's quite a decent amount of product and because it's a stain it will last. Last but not least you can also apply it on the cheeks. I already have some blusher on but I will apply some on camera. 
So I'm going to go in with Petal Pink just to finish off and apply some onto my cheeks. You can apply with your fingers or your brush, but I like fingers for this, this sort of uh, formula. So you can see it gives a nice subtle colour. Obviously, if you want more colour, go in with a deeper colour, but I deliberately didn't want too much pigment on my cheeks, so I went in with Petal Pink, and it's a really, really pretty colour. I laid it on top of powder as well, but it's sitting really nicely even though it's on top of powder, so I'm quite impressed with that. And there's no sort of sticky residue either, it just dries. So that's it guys, that's the final look. I hope you enjoyed this quick kind of review of the new collection. I just, like I said, wanted to get it out there whilst it's still online, which gives you an opportunity to see my swatches and then purchase it if you're interested. And throughout the week, I will ensure that I do more swatches for you in the daylight so that you can see it all try on for you again but just check out my instagram the link is down below if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and just share with anybody that you think would be interested in the meantime thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you soon on another video butterflies in my stomach butterflies in my chest I